Hello and welcome to my very first tutorial on how to make a website. So the very first thing you're going to need is to go out and download um, a text editor for either your Mac or PC. For your Mac, um, text edit comes with it and you're going to have to change some preferences to make it work with HTML. But once you've done that, it works pretty well. So here I've got um, a website already uh, made for you and I'm going to explain it. So the the basics of HTML is that you've got tags and with each tag you have them in um, the, those brackets and so the first one you need to know is HTML and so for every tag you need to end it and so you see at the bottom there's H forward slash HTML so like there's head and then forward slash and then head and so you'd put like if for text tags you'd put the text in between the beginning and ending tags and so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what each of these does so first of all the title is the is the tab the name of the tab at the top of the website it's not like the title it's not going to show up as text on the screen and then there are also attributes that you can uh, set with um, some types of tags. So in body, there is BG color, and that would be background color. And so you do from the tag, like body, you do space, and then whatever the attribute is called. So BG color equals sign quotes, and then whatever you want to set that attribute to. So I want the BG color or background color to be blue. And then you end the quotes and then end the tag. And so that that body tag right there will make the entire screen blue. Next is the paragraph tag and it is the P tag as you see right here. And it's a very simple tag and all it does is just you can type a paragraph in it. So, And you can also see here there's an I tag and a B tag that is for bold and italics. So those are also some at text editing tags. And so here we've got an H1 tag. And now there are H1 tags through H6 tags. So there's H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, H4. I think, yeah, I said that. Went out of order there. But you get my point. So the H1 is the biggest text. And H6 is the smallest. And so it gradually gets from goes from bigger biggest to smallest when you go from h1 to h6 h6 and so here I've got also underlined tags so I want this text to be underlined and a very useful tool is the HR and that will make a horizontal rule across your website so like it'll make a a line to divide like sections of your website and so here's an h6 so this will be really small font and I also change the font. So here's a tag called font and then color equals quotes white. So this will change the font color of the smallest of smallest to white. And one another way like HR to get a space in between your text or sections is to use BR. And what this will do is it will put a just a space. It's just a break. And so this there will be a space in between h6 and h3 and so um, another very useful thing is the image tag and so it's img space src for source equals and then in quotes you put your the entire image name now this tag doesn't need an ending tag because there's no text that you want to put in between so there's really you don't need it so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this looks like and yeah let's see how it looks okay so whoa. see we've got here my website which in this is the title I said it's it's gonna be the tab name and then this is the paragraph tag with the bold and the font it's hard to see the bold or not the font the bold and the italics 
It's hard to see the bold, but there it is. And then the H1 tag, which is underlined. See, and then this is the HR that I was talking about. HR tag, it's kind of a line that separates your website. So here's the H6, which was in the font color of white. And it is smaller than the biggest, obviously. And then there's the H3 tag with medium. And sorry, but I do not have a picture called example.jpg. So right there is not going to show up. But that does mean that your code is working. So yeah, um, I'm going to be posting uh, more tutorials on HTML and like lists and links and all that stuff. So I'm actually taking a class in school right now on how to do this. So I'm kind of be making tutorials as I learn this. I learned this a while ago, but I thought this would be a great thing to start on. So.